Hello Christchurch kids! Oh my goodness. So today we're learning about Moses parting the Red Sea, about God protecting us. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. And so we're gonna sing a song written for exactly this moment. Um, it's, it's sung on Christian radio stations, so if you listen to those you might have heard it before. It's called Red Sea Road. It's one of my niece's favorites and I hope you all like it too. We will sing to our souls, we won't bury our hope, where he leads us to go, there's a red sea road, when we can see the way, he will part the waves, and we'll never walk alone, down the So we'll sing to our souls, we won't bury our hope, where he leads us to go, there's a red sea road, when we can see the way, he will part the waves, and we'll never walk alone, down the You are faithful, you're faithful. Help us to sing. You are faithful, you're faithful, you're faithful. And we'll sing to our souls. We won't bury our hope. Where he leads us to go, there's a rest. Ready for Bible time? Come on! Ah, hello, kids! Oh, sorry, over there. Hello, Christchurch kids! Welcome to Bible Stories by the Fire! Oh! Today, we're gonna read about the Red Sea. It was a long journey leaving Egypt. The Israelites camped on the shore of the Red Sea. The people were feeling really nervous. Moses squinted into the darkening sky. Had he heard something? 
something in the distance? Moses shook his head slowly. He did not trust Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to keep his promise. Do you think Pharaoh followed us? Aaron asked. Moses stood, listening. We will see, Moses said. Soon, a growing cloud of dust rose up in the distance. A rumble of horses' hooves thundered toward the travelers. They could see them clearly now. Hundreds of Pharaoh's chariots charged towards them. Hundreds of soldiers followed with orders to bring the people back. Man, these people look scared. Whew. We're trapped, someone yelled. A strong wind began to blow. Cries went up from the people. Moses, they shouted. Have you brought us here to die? Don't be afraid, Moses told his people. Stand firm. God is with us. Moses gripped, gripped the staff in his hand. Prepare to move out, he shouted into the wind. Where, Moses? Aaron said. There is no place to go. Through the Red Sea, Moses said. God will make a way. Moses stood on the edge of the shore. He raised his right arm. He stretched his staff out over the white waves. The water trembled and divided. What? Soon a wall of water stood on the left and on the right. A safe path to the other side. Move now, Moses ordered. How strange it must have felt to step onto the sandy path. How scary to feel the spray from the water waiting on either side. Would God save them? Would God keep the promise to Moses? In the morning, Pharaoh's army stood on the Red Sea's shore. They saw the Israelites safe on the other side. Soon chariots groaned and soldiers cracked their whips. Pharaoh's army moved slowly across the rocky and sandy path. They will catch us, a young woman yelled. Watch and wait, said Moses. Moses once again held his staff up over the walls of the waves. Tons of water came tumbling down. Horses, chariots, and riders were all swept into the sea. From the safe shore came the sounds of singing and dancing, led by Miriam, Moses' sister. Sing to the Lord, the Israelites shouted. God has saved us. Oh, man. Wow, what an illustration of God's protection. Okay, Jax, here goes. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. Um, Jax, I think you're supposed to run towards first base now. Oh, I can't run in this heat. I need to cool off. Or maybe what you need is a miracle! Otto, what are you doing? Like Moses, I'm going to use my powers to help you, my people, with a miracle! I don't think this is a miracle situation. It's just hot. By tapping my staff on this stone, I will call forth water for you. But there's a drinking fountain over there. Behold, from this rock, water! <clears throat> water! Behold, water. Come on. I think the heat's gotten to Otto. No, Moses got water from a stone for his people, and I can too. Okay. Well, yeah. we're going to go get a drink. Yeah. Come on, we got this. Water! So thirsty. What in the world? It's a raccoon pool party! The raccoons have gone too far. Not to worry. If my people need that drinking fountain to cool off, then I can help. 
I'll transform my staff into a snake, like Moses did. But then we'll have a snake to deal with. How is that better? No, the snake will chase off the raccoons. Hey, raccoons, let my drinking fountain go! Oh, now the raccoon has a weapon. One! Just a little further, everyone. I don't know why I couldn't do the other miracles, but I'm sure about this one. Ah, we're here! Behold! The lake! Oh, that's actually a great idea! And now, I'll part the water, and we can all hang out in the middle of the lake, cool as cucumbers. Wait, what? Behold! Ugh, come on! Moses parted the Red Sea. Why can't I part a little lake? But Moses didn't part the Red Sea. God did. And God got water from a stone and made the staff change into a snake. Yeah, all Moses did is listen to God and do what God asked. So what are you saying? It was God's power that did all that stuff for Moses and his people? Well, yeah, God's got the power to do anything. But, but I really wanted to help my people. You did. You brought us to the lake to cool off. I guess I did. Ha! It's a miracle! Not a miracle, but still a real nice thing to do. Hey guys, so let's walk through some questions that help us to think through how these Bible stories and uh, the, this video helps us to think about how God is at work in our lives. So first off, let's start really easy. How do you like to cool off when it's hot? Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. How did Otto... Uh, try to help the kids cool off in the video today. And who was Otto trying to be like with the beard and the staff and the, uh, let my people go? Well, who is he trying to be like? Moses, exactly. But where did Moses's power come from? That's right, God. So in our Bible story today, how did Moses use the power that God gave him? Do you remember? Yeah, he split the Red Sea so that folks could walk through. Unbelievable. And it was all to protect his people, right? So it seems like sometimes, like with Moses, God performed big miracles to protect people from big, scary things. And then sometimes, like in the case of Otto and Ada, he uses people's kindness to protect us from smaller things. So what are some big ways that God protects you? Wow. And what are what are some smaller ways that God protects you? That's awesome. All right, so our song today reminds us that God is our protector. This is Isaiah 41:10. Fear not, for I am with you. Don't be afraid, because I'm your God. I will strengthen you, and I will surely help you. I will hold you up with my righteous, strong hand. All right, so I'm going to sing it once, and then we can sing it together the second time. Fear not. I will 
will strengthen you I will surely help you I will hold you up with my righteous strong hand Fear not I will strengthen you I will surely help you I will hold you up With my righteous strong hand Alright, may it look God of peace be with you this and every week, and may you go enjoy to love and serve the Lord. Christ Church kids, I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.